Hi guys, thought I'd come up with a plan to help you try to make a parachute launch system. I know Logan wants to try to make a parachute and I think it'd be cool. So what I did was I just made a, on the left you can see I just made a regular rocket. I used some cardstock. Um, it's about 60 pound paper if you go by the uh, stationery store or office depot someplace, someplace like this, but it's cardstock. On the right you can see I took another piece and I cut about a two inch strip off the top of a second piece of paper. Okay? Now at the top you can see I took that two inch piece of paper and I folded it in half and then at the bottom of the page you can see I took that and I folded it in half again. Now I took that piece of paper that I folded up a couple of times, it should be about a half inch wide or so now, and as you can see I rolled it up in a circle because I'm going to use it to make a collar. On the right you can see where that's the, the top of the paper rocket that we made. So we're going to fold, we're going to curl it around and tape it on it real tightly. Okay, you can see in the top picture I wrote the word collar. That's taped on there so it'll stay in place really, really tight. About an inch and a half to two inches from the top end of the, of the rocket itself. Now on the bottom, the bottom picture, what I'm going to do there is I'm going to take another piece of cardstock and I'm going to wrap it around the uh, body of the rocket because I want it to be bigger than the body of the rocket. I want it to be able to slip down over the top of the, uh, of the collar so when I get finished that piece, this, will be a big tube just big enough that it will slip down over this but it will push up against the collar and it won't slide any further down. Okay, you can see here is the new the new tube I made, and it's just big enough to slip down over the top of the collar here. Okay, I went ahead and I sealed this up just like we always do because that's got to be airtight. And one thing you may want to do next time when you do it is right in here. You might want to seal that top up, and then make sure this tube is just big enough so it'll slip down over that. Then what I did was here I took a piece of cardboard and I cut this out so that it will fit on the top of the tube so this is this piece of the tube up here, the rocket because I'm going to show you why I need for that to be kind of heavy and kind of strong there, okay? So this is sealed up like we always do but then this is a little piece of cardboard so I can seal up this end of the rocket here, okay? Now as you can see this shows all three pieces here's the rocket, here's the extra tube, and let's call that the parachute holder Let's call that the parachute cover. Down here I made a nose cone. I made a nose cone. And we need some weight. So uh, I came up, I just got three wash, three nuts, three nuts that go, you know, about probably about three eighths to a half inch in, in size. You want to have a little bit of mass to them. If you had a saltwater fishing weight, maybe, you know, you have to experiment with this because I haven't done it. And see what we're going to do then down here is I taped them together so I make it one solid piece. And then I'm going to slip, the, I'm going to, here's my piece of cardboard. There's a piece of cardboard. So these three nuts are going to actually sit on top of that cardboard. Here's my nose cone. And I'm going to slide the nose cone down on here and tape it into place, okay? Because I want, this is the parachute cover and the nose cone. And I want these to be able to slip in there, okay? I want that to be able to move around. So here it is almost put together. And, and what should happen is, theoretically, is whenever the rocket gets all the way up, these two pit, these little nuts are going to jump up and they should pull this piece off the bottom part of the rocket down here, okay? Because when it takes off, the collar we put on there will keep this from getting jammed on there too tight. And you, like I said, you want this to be a little bit loose, so when these pop up, they should actually rip this off the top of the rocket here. And then I put a button on here and I thought, you know, if we had a button, then that would be a good way to tie your parachute. You could put four or five parachute strings in here and make a small parachute that would come out of the top and then we'll see what happens. So, um, good luck with this. I've got one more picture. And here's essentially what it should look like uh, when you guys get through it. There's the rocket itself. This would be the parachute cover where we'd have our parachute, a real small paper, you know, plastic probably just like a grocery bag from one of the grocery stores. There's real thin, flimsy paper. You could cut it open and make a little parachute or or even a trash bag, something real, real, you know, not too big, but 
you know, we want the effect. And then the nose cone will be taped on the top of there in our those three nuts, or either our fish weight will be up in here. So um, hopefully this made some sense to you, and good luck with it.